right, so a couple of Supreme Court stories. The SCOTUS restricts police authority to enter a home without a warrant. On this one, I agree. Apparently, all the judges agreed, or the justices, all nine, unanimous decision. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled unanimously Monday against warrantless searches by police and seizures in the home in a case brought by a man whose guns officers confiscated after a domestic dispute. Now, that's the one caveat I have to this, is I like red flag laws when it comes from a spouse or a partner. Just giving, just given the statistics on how much more likely spousal abuse is to end in death, giving, given the involvement of a gun. And that, that is absolutely what I believe red flag laws are meant for. The very core of the Fourth Amendment's guarantee is the right of a person to retreat into his or her home and there be free from unreasonable governmental intrusion, Justice Clarence Thomas wrote for the court. Oh, Buchan. The case involved a heated argument between a long-married couple, Edward and Kim, uh, I'm going to butcher their name, Caniglia. He brought out a gun and told her to shoot him to put him out of his misery. Then after he left the house in a huff, she hid the gun and spent the night in a motel. Oh yeah, 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 this is, this is insane. Like she wasn't even asking for the guns to be confiscated. I remember reading about this. So he brought out a gun and told her to shoot him and put, put him out of his misery. Then after he left the house in a huff, she hid the gun and spent the night in a motel. The next morning, unable to reach her husband, she asked police to escort her home because she was afraid he might have harmed himself. Police found the husband on the front porch and sent him for a psychological evaluation. Later that day, doctors concluded he was not a threat to himself or others and released him. In the meantime, police had confiscated his guns and ammunition, so he sued, alleging an illegal search and seizure of his home. So in this case, the spouse wasn't asking for the guns to be confiscated. So 100%, this is a clear-cut case of police overstepping their bounds. Lower courts ruled that police could enter the home and under the so-called community caretaking exception to the Constitution's warrant requirement. But Thomas... The only time I'm ever going to agree with Pube Can, Thomas, writing for the unanimous court, noted that the recognition that police officers perform many civic tasks in modern society was just that, a recognition that these tasks exist and not an open-ended license to perform them anywhere. Duh. What is reasonable for vehicles is different from what is reasonable for homes, he wrote. No, no, I, 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 I tend to think that police should be able to pull up on you in your vehicle and just search you willy-nilly either. I believe, for example, George Floyd's Fourth Amendment rights were violated the moment they had guns drawn coming up on his vehicle. That's just me. I believe in liberty and freedom and don't want to live in a police state. I don't know about you guys. Now, SCOTUS has agreed to take up a case that is going to have huge ramifications for Roe v. Wade. It could be the case that overturns it. On Monday, SCOTUS agreed to take up a blockbuster dispute over a Mississippi ban on abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy, setting up a high-stakes showdown over the future of Roe v. Wade. Fre oh, freedom. Hate it. I thought this was America. 
The battle will be the first test of limits on abortion access to go before the Supreme Court's expanded 6-3 conservative majority and could pave the way for more restrictions. As the dispute takes aim at the landmark 1973 ruling in Roe, which established a woman's right to an abortion, arguments will likely be heard this fall during the High Court's next term with a decision expected by summer of 2022. The justices will specifically weigh whether all pre-viability prohibitions on elective abortions are unconstitutional. High Court's abortion cases have established a woman has a right to an abortion before fetal viability, which generally occurs around 24 weeks into a pregnancy. The Supreme Court's rightward shift during former President Donald Trump's tenure left pro-abortion advocates concerned. Pro-abortion advocates? That's a weird way to put it. Seems like they're pro-choice. I'm a pro-abortion advocate. I think you should abort your fucking kids because they're stupid. That's just me, though. Unlike right-wingers, however, I don't think you should bomb kids once they're alive. I don't think you should rape kids once they're alive, either. That seems to be a controversial thing. All right, so (laughs) left pro-choice advocates concerned about the future of abortion access as a growing number of Republican-led states have passed laws restricting the procedure at times with the stated goal of overturning Roe. While the nation's highest court last year struck down a Louisiana abortion regulation that required doctors that perform abortions to have admitting privileges at nearby hospitals, something that totally isn't needed, the Supreme Court's conservative majority has grown since then with the appointment of Justice Amy Coney Barrett in October. At issue in the case before the justices is a Mississippi law enacted in 2018. It prohibits most abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. The state's only abortion clinic, Jackson Women's Health Organization, swiftly filed suit to challenge the law, and the federal district court struck down the ban, finding it unconstitutional. The 5th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals affirmed, citing Supreme Court's abortion precedent. Mississippi's Attorney General, however, urged the Supreme Court to hear its appeal, Arguing in court filings, the case presents it with an opportunity to reconcile its conflicting statements regarding the test to apply when analyzing the the validity of a pre-viability law that protects women's health. That's a mouthful. The dignity of unborn children. What fucking dignity of unborn children? That's just flower, flowery language that means fucking nothing. And the integrity of the medical profession and society. Once again, that was Mississippi's attorney general. The viability rule was created outside the ordinary crucible of litigation. This is still Mississippi's attorney general. Failed to take uh, to account of the state's accepted interest in maternal health and fetal pain, which isn't a thing, is increasingly out of step with other areas of the law, rejects science and common sense. No, sir, your statement rejects science and common sense. And is shaky precedent at best. The court should revisit it. That's what the state said in its filing. But the Center for Reproductive Rights, which is representing Jackson Women's Health Organization, argued the court should reject Mississippi's argument as it is based on a misunderstanding of the core principle of the Supreme Court's past decisions. Roe and Casey and the court's subsequent cases are clear that before viability, it is for the pregnant person and not the state to make the ultimate decision whether to continue a pregnancy. A pre-viability abortion ban unquestionably contravenes this fundamental tenet of the court's abortion jurisprudence. Agreed! The SCOTUS has been declining to take up cases, uh, but apparently Amy Coney Barrett has been facing 
pressure from some of the group's Federalist Society that helped get her on the court. I, the child support question, I that's not for... I haven't even thought about child support because I, I don't have children. I'm pretty anti-children. So I... A man should take care of a child he was responsible for. But as for a matter as for a matter of law as to when child support should start, yeah, sometime during pregnancy seems reasonable to me. But I haven't really thought about that. So I'm with you. Is six weeks? Is that the twenty four? No, twenty four weeks is the viability. If if that's if that's what we're saying, viability is twenty four weeks. That's where the cutoff is for an abortion. Fuck. 24 weeks to start paying child support. I see I see no issue with it. And that goes both ways. Believe me, I had a I have a female friend that paid child support for years. 